I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, set up the sails uh, solo on this boat with the electric winches and the winch remote control. So first let's turn it into the wind. Take the autopilot off. So now according to the um, wind gauge we are more or less facing against the wind. So I'm going to set the autopilot on at this heading and now I'm going to unfurl the uh, a mainsail. So in order to unfold the mainsail I have flaked out the mainsail furling line which is this guy here and I'm going to let it be. So I open up the clutch. Uh, the line is tight so I don't want to undo the clutch with the line tight it will uh, bite the line and burn it. So I'm going to use the winch to pull it and I push on this button. Now it has tightened the line. I can undo the clutch completely. So I go to the other side while keeping a hand on the furling line and I'm going to pull from the outhaul which is the red line. So I'm going to put the outhaul around this winch and it's a self-tailing winch and I want it on two-speed position not on rewind position and I can watch as the mainsail unfurls so I'm going to use the remote control to pull on the outhaul so I'm pulling from the outhaul and gently let the furling line wind inside the drum I can go faster. Some tension on the um, furling line. Go to the slow speed you now. until it's all the way out. So we've done the main. And now let's do the uh, jib. And the wind is coming a little bit from my right, but eventually I'm going to want to be on a port tack. So I'm going to turn around and have the wind come on my port side. A little bit not too much okay that looks about right I'm gonna put on heading hold mode again so this will be my working sheet and that will be my lazy sheet but before I do that I want to make sure that my Genoa furling line is free to run and now it is and again I'm gonna Make sure it's not too tight. I can unclutch it. There it is, it's unclutched. And I'm gonna keep keep it in my hand. Now I'm gonna keep it in my hand so I can control it. So one turn around the winch get rid of the outhaul line and here I have the furling line in my hand I now come here and take the jib sheet which is going to be the working sheet and I turn it around the winch and I probably want four turns and I tail it and now this is my starboard side main winch, so I use this button here, and here it is pulling it out. And I can come forward 
Let me go faster with a faster speed. And I can come forward and look at it while I'm controlling the winch with the remote control. All right. Okay. So let's give it some tension now. And here we go. And here we are. It's completely out. So let me secure the furling line. And now I'm going to set the main sheet winch to rewind by turning this little red button here. So now with my remote control, I can both trim and ease off. So right now I think the sail is too tight. So I'm going to ease off. Oops, wrong direction. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. There you go. It's, it eases off a little bit. So let's sail this boat. Let me fall off a little bit so I can fill the sails. Again, ease off the jib a little bit. It's way too tight. And I, there we are. Oops. So what happened here is... There we go. Let me reset this. There we are. And let's put the power off, and we're sailing. Uh, let me trim the jib a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Very good. So now, for instance, I can set the mainsail sheet to be on this particular winch there we are so let me unclutch it it's pretty tight there we go and put it in reverse it is in reverse so now let's ease it off a little bit and very good and the main is seizing off and that should give us a little bit more speed we're doing 4.2 knots on a 10 knot wind true wind we should be able to do a little better than this let's ease off the uh, main a little bit more And let's see if we pick up some speed. Not really. All right, let's turn the engine off. Ah, wonderful.